everybody, good morning. This is Jean here, Jean True Love from True Love Quilts for You. I don't have a quilting tutorial, but I have something that I think is so interesting that I think um, you guys would want me to share it with you. <laughs> maybe or maybe not. I had gotten an email this morning, or yesterday, actually I was perusing it this morning, um, from a, a, a man who owns, he and his wife, they own a company in Colorado, Boulder, Colorado, who I have uh, shopped there. I think you, some of you may know who I'm talking about. The company is called eQuilter.com, okay? eQuilter is a, a company, a fabric store, online fabric store, that I've purchased so much fabric over the years from. I know that the uh, owners, their names are Paul and Luann Rubin. Now, Luann Rubin is very uh, famous in the quilting world. I believe she, she does design fabric and she goes all over the place. Um, and they, it's, um, when you buy something from eQuilter, which I love, um, some of their proceeds go to different charities. You can either, they can either choose one for you or there's a list um, you do know, Doctors Without Borders, children, um, all sorts of ca charities that they donate to. So it's a wonderful company, online only, and I've had zero drama, zero um, problems, only 100% awesome customer service and experience. Well, um, again, if you've been following, you do know that uh, I guess it was now, what, three or four years ago, um, no, three years ago, perhaps, I had purchased Scrabble fabric. Um, the Hasbro company, I suppose, I, I don't hold me to this, but the Hasbro company that invented Hasbro, or, I mean, that invented um, Scrabble or worked in connection with Scrabble, um, the, the game Scrabble, the tile Scrabble, um, they made a fabric panel with, I believe it was over 80 Fa um, letters, the Scrabble letters with the tiles, with the little um, uh, numbers that, re you know, for the point value, you know what I'm saying. And I made my Scrabble quilt. And I showed a, a tutorial of how I made that family, true love family Scrabble quilt. Um, I'll put up a picture of my quilt now, having used that fabric. to me or benoats to me quite a lot of people around the world the few that follow me um, inundated eQuilter with requests for that fabric well I didn't realize they quickly sold out and then were replenished and restocked the fabric it was a very popular fabric I don't know not made not made popular by me but I think my tutorial um, helped it along because it was an easy tutorial that I did. It was just squares or rectangles and the, and the fabric. The fabric did the, the work. I always say that. Let the fabric do be the making. work. We I had received an email from Paul Rubin, ah, the president of the company, yesterday. And I'm going to actually read you the email. This is so interesting. And I need you guys' input. I really do. Hi, Jean. I hope all is well. Well, it is now. Your Scrabble quilt video has been so very popular and I wanted to thank you for your detailed and informative tutorial. <laughs> I did a detailed and informative and probably very wordy and very chatty tutorial <laughs> like I am wont to do. I was wondering if perhaps you would be interested in coming up with a way to use and promote our exclusive Ukraine themed fabrics, which you can view here. And there's a link to those fabrics on eQuilter.com, which of course I clicked immediately and saw the fabric selection. Um, please let me know your thoughts. Sincerely, Paul Rubin. <laughs> 
I was like blown away. That wasn't like my input on something, right? I mean my input, right? Anyway, I immediately, as I say, I clicked on the fabrics and I saw beautiful, beautiful images of uh, cultural images, whoever, whoever designed this, the ladies dancing and all sorts of beautiful folk art. I think there's about 10 of them, maybe 10 or 12 fabrics in this fabric line um, related to the Ukraine. And of course we know what is happening in the Ukraine. So I was all excited and I was, I clicked on several of the images. Now I texted him back or message emailed him back. And I said, well, quite a few of the fabrics are panels. It's just an image, beautiful image of ladies dancing in the, in the traditional costumes which is awesome, but I think about four or five of them were, were actual panels. Now, I have worked with panels before, and the, what I like to do actually with a panel, instead of which, well, I, I go, I, I regress, I have taken a panel, I put a hunk of borders, a bunch of borders around it, which a lot of people do, which make it lovely. Borders are blocks, and, and you just flesh out the size of the panel, which is awesome. Um, but I have also cut out In an image and sort of applicate it onto something else. I did that with my um, my Little Mermaid quilt. My, my little, little Mermaid quilt, the Little Mermaid was an actual panel, but I cut her out and then applicate her on to my background instead of using the background. So that's one way you can use a panel. You're, you're not limited. You can, panels are inexpensive. In this country, they, they range between like $8 and $15 for a digital printed panel. So they're an inexpensive piece of fabric to <clears throat> mess about with if you wanted to. To say, take a little bit of that panel and applique it. You don't have to, you're not just limited to the panel. You have to step outside the box. So I was looking at these images because most of them are panels and a few other florals. And I, I, I'm, I'm not coming up with something yet. But what I did notice um, in the images, and again, I, I'm going to preface this, I'm going to preface this by saying <laughs> there are some religious iconography in the several of these um, fabrics. Now, you never talk about religion or politics. I understand that. I get that. And uh, you know I don't shove it down anybody's throat. And as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, we're very, very aware very, very aware, especially us, that people don't like us, that people don't agree with us, um, that people have an issue with what we don't do. Jehovah's Witnesses don't do this, they don't do that, they don't do this, they don't do that. But they, they never concentrate on what we do. We are Christians, we do exactly what Jesus did when he was here on the earth. We follow the Bible as our standards and our guideline. Now, some of these images, just two of them, and I will mention this if you get offended, you can click off right now. Just for one minute, I'm just gonna mention two things that I have a slight problem with using this fabric. And I'll just tell you why. There's images of beautiful girls, but in the background, there's churches and they have the cross on them, just little tiny. And I noticed that by sort of zooming into the image. Well, we don't believe in the cross. The cross, um, Jesus died on a stake, an upright stake. The cross has been used in pagan worship and we don't believe in it. It's not mentioned in the Bible whatsoever. And we know that Jesus did not die on the cross. And if, again, even as historians, let alone Bible students, you educate yourself and you will see that what I'm saying is true. So we don't, we don't do the cross. The another second thing, and I'll get off my soapbox, is the beautiful fabric. And again, I'll put an image up of the Easter eggs, the painted eggs. Now, there's beautiful, beautiful images on this fabric. Absolutely gorgeous, which every color in the rainbow, which absolutely speaks to me. But again, they're Easter, and as Jehovah's people, we don't celebrate Easter. Again, it does not take a rocket science for the majority of people to understand that Easter has nothing to do with Jesus or his death at, at that time of year. 
it's worshiping the false goddess Doris, it's worshiping fertility, all of that. It's been watered down through the years and through the decades. And it's a happy, lovely holiday that people, they paint their little eggs. But as Bible students, we don't want to be associated with something that has pagan oranges. That's it. That is our belief. So those two images, I thought, I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable. Even though the one is in the distant, the cross and the Easter eggs are beautiful, but I'm not comfortable. But I thought, I'm going to do some homework myself. And I looked up the Ukrainian culture and it's delightful. It's absolutely beautiful. There's lots of folk art, there's images, there's beautiful costumes, embroidery, which I love. So the religion part, the religion and the politics apart, that's done. I'm going to try, <laughs> Paul and my followers out there, I'm going to try to do this. It's going to be a challenge. So what I have done is I have ordered, I went online immediately and I've ordered some of this fabric. I forget which I ordered. Um, I ordered, there's a medallion, there's a border print, there's a whole folk art uh, panel, there are a few, uh, and there's several of the panels. Um, so I've actually ordered it to, to, because it, it is popular. It will be popular and it will probably be sold out. Um, I'm not going to commit to Paul Rubin because that's too much pressure, too much pressure on me. I love like, oh my word. Um, but I'm going to be making something that I love because of the Ukrainian culture. Um, and again, uh, that may, that's just me like nitpicking those little religious things. But that aside, I love it. I absolutely love it. And, and we re honor and we respect every culture and the Ukrainian culture and especially what they're going through. And uh, again, we know there have been several of our brothers and sisters, as you know, that we call um, other Jehovah's Witnesses all around the world. We are one united family. It doesn't matter your color, your race, your culture. We are a family. We love everybody. Um, you won't have Jehovah's Witnesses killing other Jehovah's Witnesses in a war conflict because we don't go to war. Um, we would rather be put in jail than pick up a gun and kill somebody. Um, so we are politically neutral, but we realize that in this, in this conflict in the Ukraine, several of our brothers and sisters have been killed. And along with many, many others in this horrific, horrific politically and religiously charged war that is going on across the, across the world. Um, very, very close. We have Ukrainian brothers and sisters here who have been touched uh, personally with family members. So it's very, very near to us and um, our congregations and you also, you folks out there, realizing it's a senseless, mindless um, war uh, spurned on by hatred. And it's just, just evil, horrible, horrible. Things have to change and they will under God's kingdom. Anyway, I respect the culture and I love this fabric. And ap apart from those things, which I hope you um, understand and uh, will grant me my beliefs as I do yours, um, I'm going to challenge myself. <laughs> I'm going to wait for my fabrics to come. So that is videos to come. But I just wanted to share that guy with, with you guys. I just thought, oh my goodness, that is the coolest thing. That Paul Rubin, he actually... Uh, was, you know, pleased that, again, we ordered, I order a lot of things from them. It's a wonderful company. Again, I'm not sponsored at all by eQuilter.com at all. Um, but there's, you know, there's a few things. I should be. Flippin' neck, I should be. <laughs> you know me, my fist scars, my Martelli mat, my awful cutters equalter.com. I like certain things and I, I use them all the time. So I, I will let you fun. guys know what happens um, in my thinking brain. It's a lot for me. You see smoke coming out of my ears <laughs> because I'm like, ah, what am I going to make? As you know, I've been, my quilting mojo has bleh, gone down the hill and it's hot. 
but um, I was all excited and I thought, wow, this is a challenge. So actually I'm going to call Jen up and we're going to get together. Oh, I'm going to see her over the weekend, but um, I might call her up and, and um, I might talk to her about it and um, maybe she'll have some ideas and we can put our heads together. Nothing, nothing written in stone for e quilter but i'm going to see what i can come up with if i do and then i can just show them and so do by all means go to e quilter and look up free patterns awesome so i'm not i don't think what i would do would qualify because it's in my brain how to that like a free pattern i don't know how to do that you know me it just it just is in my brain and comes out my fingers so i will show you what comes out my fingers and when my fabric comes, I'll share that with you. So anyway, folks, thank you so very much for listening to me and for respecting me. I respect you guys. I love having our line of communication open. And again, um, as Jehovah's Witnesses, and I know quite a few of you were like, <gasps> she's a witness. <laughs> this Jehovah's Witnesses, blah, blah, blah. We get that a lot. We absolutely get that a lot. We've had to have very broad shoulders because um, our beliefs which are just biblical, some of them are not popular. And um, people, have, people have taken umbrage at that. But I hope you guys enjoy me and enjoy our family and enjoy how, how um, we love life and um, we cherish what's written in the Bible and we just try to be true Christians and um, do our best. So thank you so very much again for listening to me and my Jen and Ian and Maxwell and everybody from the True Loves. And as usual, guys, love from the True Loves. Keep safe. Bye-bye.